Hey guys, Tech Made Easy, and thank you so much for clicking on our video today. Well guys, we've got a solar panel review for you. This is the All Powers 100 Watt Lightweight Foldable Affordable Solar Panel. And this thing is simple to set up. It actually performs well. It even comes with some additional accessories I wasn't expecting. In this review, I will do a super quick unboxing and we'll take a close look at the panel. I'll set up the panel so you can see how easy it is to set up. I'll also do a quick solar test and we'll see what we get out of the 100 watt panel. I'll then share my thoughts on my experience. So why don't we go ahead and get this party started. Hi, this is Al from Tech Made Easy with a really quick message. The video you're about to watch is sponsored. We received this product from the vendor. But keep in mind, we will be very honest with you as we review the product. That is very important to us. If you like our video, I sure hope you give us a thumbs up. I hope you share our video. And last, I really hope you subscribe and become a part of the family. Thank you. Let's go ahead and get this unboxed. All right, there it goes. Uh, not a large panel. And um, there it goes with the logo. Let me go ahead and give you some information on the panel on the left-hand side of the screen. So, first of all, MSRP on this panel is about 169 And i got to tell you, you're going to be surprised from time to time. This thing goes on sale. And uh, for the price, it's not bad for a foldable, portable panel. It is 100 watts. And uh, open circuit voltage is 22.4 volts. Short circuit current is 6 amps. It does come with a two-year warranty. It has a PET coating, which isn't really the best coating, but it does have a coating. Uh, they do state waterproof or splash resistant. I'll put a note up on the screen to clarify that. The weight is 7.9 pounds or 3.6 kilograms. Let's go ahead and take a good look at this panel here. So we do get a handle. All right, not too bad. Looks like I got a little cushion. You've got, I don't know if this is reflective. It just uh, opens up. I'll zoom out a little more. You guys can see more. It does have uh, some kickstands. They are held by Velcro and they do have some stretchable straps. That might help with our angle, by the way. All right, and again, locked back down with Velcro, so not bad. And uh, this is a two panel solar panel. So you've only got two panels and each of them have a kickstand. But before we open it, we do have a pouch here. Let's open this up and see what we get inside. All right. Well, there you go. So you've got an MC4 solar panel. And they're giving you a DC barrel to MC4, depending on what power station you're using. That's really nice. You're also getting an Anderson. For the price, I'm surprised they're giving you all of that. Now the other cool thing is if you're using the DC barrel, they're actually giving you the converters as well. So that is really nice. And then they do give you a manual here. Looks like it could be written in different languages. And that's the pouch. And it's got a nice size pouch, so you can bring all this with you. Let's take a look. Go ahead and crack this open now. Again, just to take a look at it. And uh, this is that PET coating they use. Um, again, I don't think it's the top of the line coating when it comes to solar panels. It does feel pretty consistent. I do notice also there's no holes in the corners. They do give you these straps uh, on each corner if you have to uh, hang the panel. So you at least get that all right on all four corners. All right, but there you go. Let's open this up. Let's take a look. All right, there it goes opened up. Now it is on the highest angle, by the way. 
and I'll show you the lowest angle in a moment but really simple two panels all right does the job two panels let's look back here now and you'll see that the support system all right with these stretchy strappies and let's do that test you know I'll tell you I really learned the importance and we're going to pull this back as far as it goes all right so it does stop at a certain point and the kickstands seem fine for a small panel like this so that is the furthest angle you're going to get all right so there you go that's as far back as it's going to go and uh looks like a nice panel to be honest with you why don't we go ahead and, and do some testing and see what we get out of this panel all right we're going to start our solar test on the R600 all powers and we're going to use an all powers 100 watt foldable panel. Uh, this thing is light and foldable so it's pretty cool. It's 100 watts. So let's go over the specs for the solar panel real quick. The solar panel is 22.4 uh, volts open circuit voltage and 6 amps short circuit current. All right and uh, the power station can handle 300 watts, 12 to 60 volts, which is very impressive, up to 12 amps. So let's go ahead and check this out. Now, one thing we always recommend when you're going to solar power a power station is to keep this in the shade somewhere and take your panel and put it out as far as you can, you know, so that it'll get them as much sun as possible. So we recommend some extension solar cable. Now this is regular so total cable, solar cable, all right? It's not an extension, but what we're doing is the R600 comes with this solar cable. And obviously we're gonna connect it to this cable and then connect that cable to the solar panel so we can put the panel out further. So we'll put a link in the description so you can get longer cable, all right? Um, we've got different sizes. Now, this is a solar disconnector tool. It's really inexpensive. It just makes it easier to disconnect the cables when you're done. We'll show you how that works later on. And then this is a solar angle guide. And I'll tell you, I'm a big fan of it. And what it does is it really helps you find the right angle on the solar panel so you get the most power out of the sun to charge the power station. We'll show you how this works as well. All right. So we're going to connect this, really just lay this on top of the solar panel. But as you can see here, there's a dot in the middle and it creates a shadow. And the goal is to get the shadow into the middle of the target. And that'll tell you that you're getting the most uh, and the really the right angle to produce the most power. So let's just put this on real quick. We've got the best angle possible because this panel doesn't really angle in any way you want. So it does have a limitation. So if you see here, we have, and I'll zoom in, we have a, a pretty decent angle. The uh, dot uh, basically is almost in the dead target. So that's a really good angle for the panel. All right, let's connect the panel now. All right, so we're just connecting the panel to our extension cable here, our solar cable. And uh, we're going to go ahead and connect this to the power station now and see what we get. All right, if you want to see our full review on the All Powers R600, 600 watt power station, and our refrigerator test, I will put a link in the description of the video. All right, when you get a chance, check this out. This is an affordable power station and it did very well in our testing so we'll put a link in the description for you all right all our cables are connected we just need you have to connect the xt60 here on the side of the unit just plugs right in make sure it's in nice and firm push that in what we're going to do now is connect the uh, solar cable uh, here on this side and we're going to watch the screen to see what kind of power we produce. We're at 39% charge. And so far we have 13, 42, 82. So we're producing about 84, 83, 84 watts out of a 100 watt panel. 
that's really good by the way and uh, if you look at the bottom it'll say it takes about an hour to charge based off the 82 watts so we're at 39 percent 83 watts coming in it says it'll take about an hour to recharge the unit so that's not bad that's a really good result for a hundred watt panel and uh, yeah that's a pretty good angle as well now before we end the video I want to show you we're getting as high as 87 watts on this panel right now again we've got some clouds in the sky just so you'll know not many but 87 watts on a 100 watt panel is really really good all right now let's talk a little bit about the panel what I like and what I don't like so let's talk a minute about uh, how I feel about the panel after using it for a few days one it's two panels and it's got two kickstands so it's real easy to set up it's very light got an easy handle the velcro seems to hold really well you've got this big pouch in the back and you get really a bunch of cables I was surprised that you know you got the Anderson MC4 cable you got the barrel MC4 cable and you got the barrel adapters in here and it is an MC4 panel which is important because some companies come out like a DC barrel uh, cable and uh, that doesn't always work for everyone so I think MC4 is a really good standard um, it does have a good warranty too right I mean you saw that in the beginning of the video and the price point isn't bad at all you know it's got these loops you can use to hang it which is nice um, the waterproof rating you know it's really not waterproof so you know that would be one thing I don't like but at that price point how could you beat it right so check for some links in the description but uh, let's go ahead and show you how to disconnect the MC4 cables real quick before we end the video all right so how do we disconnect the solar cables right well again this little tool here is pretty darn helpful and uh, how it works is basically this cable here if you see it it actually has pins these two pins when you push these in they lock in place and so to take them out you've got this tool here that really just lays underneath like that and it pushes the pins in as you can see and then you just pull this out with no problem all right so we'll put this in the description along with the solar angle finder and the extra cables all right guys well I hope you found this short solar panel review helpful and if you did take a moment give us a thumbs up we'd really appreciate that it really helps the channel and it helps the video all right also follow us on social media we'll put our social media up top on the left hand corner and we do have a Tesla channel it's a new channel uh, we got a Tesla channel we got a Tesla now we have about 11,000 miles um, we've done a couple of accessory reviews but our goal is to share our buying experience and to share maybe some of the things that were different about a gas car and then going into a Tesla so subscribe to our Tesla channel and if you want to subscribe to our Tech Made Easy channel we hope you do I'll put a little circle on the left hand side a Tech Made Easy logo you click on that and you can actually subscribe to our channel at Tech Made Easy and on the right side I'll put a playlist for more battery power stations and solar if you want to check that out guys thank you so much have a wonderful day